This is the second year that, or third year that we've had the uh, Yeti 3000 uh, Go Zero. And as you can see, um, on the right hand side, uh, I'm charging, or I can put as many as uh, 200 watts plus 150 watt load uh, for input. And then on the left hand side, which currently I still have, not, <coughs> have yet to use, um, I can actually put two times 150 watt panels. Uh, right now it is uh, charging at 160 uh, average watts and uh, I'm outputting about 162 from a full-size refrigerator. As you can see, here's a line that goes to the fridge. And uh, that is our home fridge that's actually being powered by the uh, Yeti 3000. So, so far so good. Uh, in terms of the solar panels, um, I'm actually uh, using just those two uh, 150 watt Renogy solar panels. Got them from Renogy about a couple of years ago and uh, just using a, an extension um, as well as adapters from the back. Here's the back of the Renogy. Uh, just a quick snapshot of the specifications of the Renogy uh, watt panel or 150 watt panel and it goes right there with an adapter and then um, using a goal zero splitter for splitter so I've got I can put two more 150 watt panels there if I can't if I want to uh, but right now this should be sufficient so um, this is just my uh, yearly review um, just to keep updated as to how this 3000 watt hour Go Zero generator, power generator is actually doing. Thank you.